Last summer, St. Anselm College, for the first time in a 125-year history of the school, inaugurated the first layperson ever to hold the office of president. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers, and we are here at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. And joining me now is that very president, Dr. Stephen DeSalvo. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Jenny. And congratulations. Now, as a lay person, how is your approach to leadership different from an ecclesiastic? Uh, it's different in a couple of ways. Uh, one is that I have to be much more intentional about the mission of the school. I don't wear a collar, uh, and so what we do for mission fulfillment is very important. Uh, but I also have to bring some business skills to the table, and uh, finance is certainly one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, marketing the institution. Uh, these are, are skill sets I've acquired over the years. Um, and with nine predecessors who were uh, Benedictine monks, they were not trained in this area. So it's a different focus, but I think it's an important one for the future. So you mentioned some of these different focuses, but share a little bit about your vision to carry out the mission of St. Anselm. We are very focused on service uh, in the community uh, and, uh, and also here on campus. Uh, and so the mission piece infuses that service throughout everything we do. Our students logged almost 50,000 hours of service last wow. year. It's incredible. Uh, and they're helping the homeless and they're helping immigrants, uh, but it's part of who we are as an institution. Uh, a lot of those students come with some experience already, mm. uh, so it's fun to watch them blossom into leaders. Uh, the vision piece is also focused on broadening our reputation and reach. Uh, when I got here, I said, this is a wonderful place, but a lot of people don't know about mm -hmm. St. Anselm outside of 100 miles. Mm -hmm. So we need to do a better job uh, bragging about the great things that we do in and out of the classroom. All right, so it's been a year on the job for right. you right now. So can you share with us some of the challenges as well as some opportunities that the school is facing right now? Uh, certainly one of the challenges is enrollment. This is a very competitive environment. Uh, the demographics have been shifting. Uh, there are less 18-year-olds uh, out there, and they're all looking at high-quality places. Uh, so we are very blessed this year to, to uh, welcome a class uh, about 25 greater than last year, wow. which is wonderful. Uh, the cost of education is an issue for every college president. How do we maintain our costs and keep our discount rate reasonable? That requires us to raise additional funds and make sure that it's affordable for families. And then finally, the outcomes. You know, can our students get jobs? Um, our nursing program has a great reputation. 100% of our nursing students graduated last year have a job. Uh, 98% of our students within six months of graduation uh, are employed or in graduate school. So we're doing very well there, but it's a very competitive environment. So let's look forward, let's say 25 years. Mm -hmm. Where is St. Anselm and what does it look like? Uh, St. Anselm doesn't look dramatically different from the outside because I think we, are, we have a beautiful campus and we certainly are doing good work in and out of the classroom. I think the difference is uh, our focus on becoming more global. Uh, we're looking at programs uh, in Italy and other places to uh, create study abroad programs, uh, but also the ability for us to get our students engaged in a much bigger way. Dr. DeSalvo, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about St. Anselm with us, and thank you for having us here. It's always such a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.